Street Maps in Appraiser Pro allow you to create accurate and colorful location maps showing the location of your subject, comps, and listings anywhere in the United States. It even lets you mark out neighborhood boundaries. In this video, we'll see how it works. Once you've entered all of the addresses you wish to map out into your report, go to the Services tab and select Street Maps. When the program launches, you'll be shown the addresses from your report in a table. Here you can make any changes you need to make to the addresses. Above the addresses, check boxes allow you to choose which addresses to show on the map, as well as choose to only show the subject. You can also choose to label the sales comparables as either sales or comps. At the top, there's also a preferences tab. Here you can set the label size on the map, choose to show the addresses as either info label balloons or simple arrows, Set label options, including showing the front view photo and the proximity to the subject, the assessor's parcel number, and the sale price. Set label border options, label colors, and whether or not to transfer the address proximities to the comp and listing grids. Back over on the Addresses tab, click the Get Map button to geocode your addresses and place them on a map. If any addresses can't be found, a message will appear asking you to select the closest matching address. You can then manually move the address to its proper location. A location map with the proper dimensions for use on the location map page will then be shown. Here you can click and drag within the map to move it around, and either use the zoom slider in the upper right, or your mouse's scroll wheel to adjust the map zoom. You can also click and drag a label and move it around so it doesn't overlap any other labels or important details on the map. If the geolocation on the label was slightly off, you can also click on the pointer and drag it to a different location. And finally, if you choose to delete a label from the map, just move the mouse over the label and click the X. If you chose arrow labels, you can click and drag them to a new location on the map, and move your mouse over them to rotate the arrow, and click X to delete. Above the map editing area, you can also switch the map view from street view to aerial view. In addition to allowing you to add more helpful additional map images to your report, this can also make it easier for you to adjust your label placement. Below, you can also add neighborhood boundaries. To draw the neighborhood boundaries, click on Create, and then click on a starting point on the map. Now move your mouse to a new point and keep clicking to add new points to create a polygon whenever you need the line to change direction, for instance, to follow a road. Once you get the neighborhood mapped out, press Escape on your keyboard. If you mess up or decide you don't need the neighborhood shown, click Delete and then click inside the neighborhood. On the right, you'll see a thumbnail of the entire map as it will be shown on the location map page. Below that, you can use the pull down to select which form the map will be added to. If you need more general map pages, you can also click the green plus to add new ones to your report. Below this, you can type in a title for your map and choose to transfer the finished map to the report, to the clipboard so you can use it in a Word document, for example, or save it as a standard BMP, JPEG, or PNG image file. Once transferred to the report, the proximities will be added to the comp grid, and the map will be added to the map addendum. And that is it. If you need help or have any questions, email us at tech at sfrep.com, or give our tech support a call seven days a week at 800-644-4051. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for being an SFREP customer.